just what makes Bitcoin rallies so explosive. When Bitcoin goes up, it goes up like a rocket. Its rallies are spectacular, with prices often jumping several thousand percent in a year. And the crashes are sometimes equally spectacular. But just what is it that makes Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies more generally so uniquely prone to manias that send prices soaring parabolically? First, the supply of Bitcoin has no relationship to the demand. Unlike classical goods and services studied by economists all the way back to Adam Smith, an increase in demand isn't met by an increase in supply. That's because the algorithm that dictates how Bitcoin works has prescribed a set rate of increase. When the price goes up, the mining capacity dedicated to the Bitcoin network increases and the difficulty of mining adjusts upwards, but the rate at which Bitcoin is mined doesn't increase. Second, and for this reason, when Bitcoin's demand outstrips new supply, the increases in price drive excitement. Headline writers and newspaper columnists find breathless adjectives to describe what's happening. That makes more people aware of the gains and more money flows in. And that makes Bitcoin a Veblen good. Unlike a normal good, demand for Veblen goods rise as their price rises. Higher prices beget higher prices. Until, of course, the mania becomes so big that the bubble bursts and the rally pops. Except that in the case of Bitcoin, every bubble that popped was eventually followed by another bubble. I like to think of it as a kind of rubber bubble, one that inflates and deflates over and over again. I'm Eddie van der Walt. This is Decrypted. For more content like this, follow us on your favorite platforms.